<laughs> All right, welcome to the city of Bogota. So um, I've been here a few times already, actually many times, and I want to talk about how I was able to travel the world working as a software developer um, like many many years ago. I think this was around eight years ago. So uh, eight years ago I was living and working in New York City uh, working at this little agency in Brooklyn and saw this little article by talking about this guy named Peter Levels. Um, if anyone is familiar with him, he is the guy that did... I mean, I just had a lunch and I'm running out of breath with uh, walking while with a full stomach. Uh, but uh, he's the guy who built uh, Nomadlist. Uh, the, it's a, basically a site that ranks different uh, cities uh, and like basically ranking them on basic characteristics on whether if it's a good place where you, where you can work remotely while traveling. And I saw this guy, saw an article of this guy, and I thought, wait a minute, like I can do this too technically. I'm a programmer. Um, all I really need is a computer uh, and uh, an internet. Why can't I do this, right? And me at the time, how old was I? It's like 25 or something? 24? And I thought... And when you're young, like, you just want to travel everywhere, right? And I thought, well, um, I want to do this. I'm going to figure out how to do it. So... Uh, at the time, I was working in Brooklyn. And remote work still wasn't really a thing back then. So... Working remotely from home, uh, basically, you know, not showing up to the office, that job wasn't an option. So, I want to go sit somewhere. So, there's some steps over there. So, I uh, actually found a remote job doing basically what I was doing at the time, which was uh, Rails development your standard full stack rails development at a company with a company that was based in Atlanta uh, and I got a job with them and then uh, after that it was basically like three month uh, contract to hire and I took the job I did three months of contract they liked me enough where they hired me and after that I left New York uh, and I started traveling. I first went to, I've been to Colombia the first time. Um, actually, that first uh, time traveling, I, I visited Bogota, I got to know Bogota. I've been to, where else have I been? Been to Mexico, uh, Peru, Argentina. Uh, and then I've also got to know Europe. So I've been to, in Europe, I've been to Spain, Germany, England, Georgia, uh, no, no gracias, uh, Ukraine. And the thing is like, normally, the, 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 normally when you travel, like people usually take what, two week vacation, um, and then they'll go, you know, they don't have much time because they, they take two weeks vacations. So they may quickly do the touristy things and never really get to know the country. But when you do it when the way I was doing it, which was basically um, not giving up. No, no gracias. No. Get these uh, people who um, want to clean your shoes and you tell them no and um, they oftentimes they don't take no for an answer so you have to say it with assertive like you have to say it very assertively it's like no do not talk to me like that um, but uh, the 
the nice thing when you work remotely full time and traveling at the same time is that you never really run out of money <laughs> because um, if you let's say you quit your job uh, and you don't have a steady income and you're perpetually traveling eventually you're gonna run out of money but if you do it if you have a remote um, income where you don't have where you can technically do from anywhere uh, you you have a con you basically have a consistent stream of income so you can travel perpetually so that was the idea uh, when I first started traveling um, started working remotely and it was fun I did it for about two years straight and another cool thing is because you have more time you basically have unlimited time to travel um, you uh, maybe I'm gonna walk around a bit and show you a little bit of uh, the downtown historic downtown center of Bogota uh, you basically can get to know the country a lot better so I spent um, this was like eight years ago so at that time I spent like months in Colombia um, I would say a few months in Mexico uh, not very long time in Peru I spent a lot of time in um, traveling around Europe got to know different parts of Europe and um, you really get to know the country pretty well like you learn you get to learn different languages um, and get to know the country and its people uh, from the almost like from the not perspective of a person just passing by on vacation but as like a perspective of someone actually living there and that gives you a fresh perspective on life so for example um, I, I actually have a permanent residency in Colombia at this point and it gives you a different perspective on how much of an advantage in life it is to be from a first world developed country uh, because a lot of these places it's difficult to survive like if you're born into poverty in country in third world countries like you know many countries in Latin America you're kind of fucked <laughs> it's really difficult to get out of that while if you were born in a first world developed country like the US Canada um, opportunities are just endless uh, so it definitely gives you a different perspective on life um, and things like I remember um, growing up in the US uh, there's like maybe if you're American uh, you can uh, relate but basically we're taught that communi communism is really bad like it, we're taught that it's evil we have to fight communism um, Russia's evil all that kind of crap I would, I would consider that like almost propaganda but I remember um, when I was in Ukraine I remember I met some older people who actually missed the Soviet Union which um, to me was very bizarre since you know in the US we're taught that you know everyone in the Soviet Union was poor they were going hungry all that stuff so but when you're there and you talk to the local people some of them actually miss communism I remember asking them why and what they told me was uh, people were dancing and what they told me was um uh, yeah under communism like they you know they weren't rich um, but they didn't really have to worry about basic necessities uh, so uh, people just have more time uh, for family for friends basically more human like things while under capitalistic societies you know they have to constantly work and, and worry about where their next meal was gonna come from so you know stuff like that I'm not I mean I'm not trying to get political here but when you travel around and spend significant amount of time outside of your own country uh, and 
in different cultures, you get a you get a different perspective on on um, on life and and how other cultures and how other countries run. Maybe different like ways of life too. So, how do you do this? Uh, let's say you're one of those people, and one day you would like to travel the world, right? And you don't come from a rich family. Uh, so, uh, one way you can do it is uh, learn a skill. Um, I know this is a software development channel, so I'm gonna use uh, software development as, a, as an example. You can do what I did. Uh, you can learn to code uh, and work in the industry, gain some experience, uh, leverage your experience to, to start working remotely, and then uh, you start traveling, get your passport, and um, sell most of your possessions and buy a plane ticket, fly to a different country, maybe book an Airbnb for a bit, and then just start living in another country, make some local friends, uh, learn a, a different language, and um, get to know the world outside of outside of your own uh, country. I have no idea what this is. For 2,000 pesos, I get a get a picture with. I have no idea what that is. I don't know if that's a a human or an, or. I think you call those midgets, right? Um, dwarfs. I don't know if it's one of those, but. Um, anyways, um, you can do that. And then, frankly, I think most people, especially these days, with all the uh, with the emergence of remote work, anyone can figure out. Now, I haven't personally haven't traveled in a while. I'm trying to travel again because I think if you're a traveler at heart, um, eventually you get sick of it. But then, eventually. You get bored of not traveling, so you want to do it again. So I'm trying to travel again uh, more often. Uh, so, so you might, in these kind of vlog type of videos, you might see me um, and I'm showing you different parts of the world where I'm uh, traveling to um, in upcoming videos, rather than just pure uh, coding tutorial like video so um, I'm gonna walk around a little bit more in this part of town this is actually what I'm doing right now like this vlogging thing um, in, in the middle of Bogota is actually not the safest thing to do um, in Colombia they have this uh, phrase called no dar papaya which means uh, don't give opportunities for others to harm you so basically saying don't give opportunities for others to rob you, you know, don't show valuables uh, in public things of that sort so what I'm doing right now is actually not uh, it's I mean it's not super dangerous but it's not super safe either so uh, I'm gonna put the camera away for now and then the little little video little vlogish video at this point uh, walk around town a little bit and then go back to my Airbnb. So if you enjoy these kinds of videos, let me know. Oh, it's a cute little doggy. Uh, let me know and I'll do more of these alongside the typical, the more traditional uh, software engineering type of videos. And uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned.